All right, guys, we are back. So just to let you know, I did heal up everyone back in uh, the Hot Springs in Ymir, and I just, I swapped out uh, guys for Instructor Sarah. Uh, quick couple of things before we move on to the shrines. Um, I did buy a couple of things. I kind of splurged a bit here. So in terms of the fourths, quickly go to the... Which one was it? The second floor? And I just remember we also have to turn in some of the quests, so we will do that first uh, before we move on to, just to get that free stuff, you know? Uh, let me see here. Game room. Oh, game room is on the other side. Whoops. So, I kind of splurged a bit with the U material. And, ta-da! <laughs> so we got two more boards now. So I got one with Milliam on it with the design. It's hard to see. Let me zoom in a little bit. There you go. So we got one with Milliam. And then we got one with both, um, uh, uh, crap, I, I don't even remember her name now. Um, uh, Princess Alfin and Reen's sister. <laughs> Elise, yeah, that's the name, yeah, that's her name, Elise. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. I decided to splurge a bit, get those two. Um, I think there was something else I bought in the shop, too, but I don't remember for some reason. Let me, wait, is there a lot of people in that room? Oh, wait, no, also, I, re I just remembered, hang on, let's talk to Monk here. Because we should have gotten our prize by now, let's talk to him. Uh, ask for status update. Uh, you want to know how your last contest entry went who mama you won the gold prize these are all for you red beast flesh times five okay white beef flesh chitin shell clear gelatin wow there's a lot of food globby fat hearty powder oh my goodness wow these look pretty tasty i really lucked out thanks for replying monk i'll let you know if i wanted to give it another shot okay so that was actually kind of cool so let's go ahead and apply again so we'll do another thousand mira there we go Alright, so, there's that. Okay, we'll quickly move on here. Um, let me quickly go back to, which one was it? Third floor, I think? Yeah, third floor. Just to double check, because I, I bought these really quickly, <laughs> to be quite honest. So, let's go to, let me see here, this one, right? So, I just can't remember what I traded with Becky. Hang on. Whoops. So, it was... Ah, yes, the coloring. So I decided to buy the colorings for the Orbital Bike. So let's quickly go down to the first uh, floor. <laughs> uh, these are... It's, it's, it's so funny, guys. Seriously. Maybe not funny, but it, it's just really... Design-wise, it's hilarious. So let's customize the Orbital Bike. So as you know, we got the dark coloring uh, a while back, right? So we got Elisa, Fee, and Toa. So a bike coloring that incorporates pictures of, you know, Elisa, Fee, and Toa. Probably best not used in public places. Apply in the... Yeah. So here we go. Here's Elisa's. Wow. <laughs> so it's just the hot coloring, but with um, Elisa's design. Okay, no. Maybe not exactly the same, but it's a little brighter. But still, it's hilarious. And then here's Fee. Okay. <laughs> and then here's Toa. Wow. It, like, almost ex her actual colored uniform. That's actually super hilarious. And... Just for funsies, we're going to stick with uh, uh, with Fee's coloring. And then we'll switch it around with maybe Elisa and Toa later on. But that's hilarious. Other than that, though, I'm surprised there's only four more colors left to collect for the bike. So that's actually interesting. If I took off the sidecar. Ah, uh, okay. Now, nah, it looks better with the sidecar. <laughs> Especially with Fee's giant chibi face on it. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to stick with that. That's going to be hilarious. Fee's just like, why? Why do you have this? <laughs> Alright. So anyway, other than that, that's pretty much it what I bought on the ship. So let's go back to the bridge. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that was some well-earned use of my uh, U material. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and check up on this stuff here. Uh, first things first, uh, check quest. That's all three. So let's go ahead and report the quest. <laughs> have you been keeping well? Yes, we have. All right, let's see. All right, let me hear your report. All right, let's see what we get, guys. All right, so we got 7,000 mirror for completing the quest. Marvelous. You've ranked up. All right, cool. So our this rank is just a little something from me. Okay, so now our rank went up to A3. Cool. And we got something called Grail Locket as a perk. So we'll check that out in a second here. So oh, Well, that's very impressive. So it was all because we recruited everyone. So Kenneth, Margarita, Hugo, Stefan, Klein, and Hibble. Uh, Gone Air and Cruising for Abuzin were the two side quests. Very nice. And adios, Reen. All right, see you later, Captain Sexy. <laughs> all right, so that's pretty much it. They were all reported. So we are done here. So now let's move on to the shrines. Uh, of course, before we move on, let's check out that uh, equipped item now. Uh, coral ring. Grail locket, which is... Prevents all elements except KO? Holy shit, that's great! Hold on, accessory model on an artifact passed down in the church. Wow, that is good! Holy crap, no, we are definitely equipping that. Um, I'm gonna equip that to Reen. Okay. Damn, seriously, that's... Okay, obviously it won't 
uh, block KO, but that's great though, seriously. That's just, pre it's pretty much like the ribbons in Final Fantasy games, you know, prevents all debuffs. Um, of course, except for KO, but still, that's really good, guys. Holy shit. All right. <laughs> Definitely worth doing these quests then. I hope we can, if we can, I hope we can buy more of those in the shop. Maybe Becky will have something we can trade for, or maybe, um, oh, what's his name? Hugo? Who knows? All right, but now we are done with the ship. Let us finally move on with the questing, which is our main quest here. We had to find uh, the Zimorian, I mean, Zors. I'm going to call them that. Zors at the Spirit Trine. So let's go ahead. And we had to have Emma in the party, so that's what we do. Um, all right. So let's move on, guys. So let's go ahead and talk to Toa. Very nice. We're making progress. Very slow progress, but we're making it regardless. Where do you want to go? All right. So obviously, we have one in here, the Air Shrine. Uh, the Earth Shrine. Water. And fire. And of course, we have not done the fire one yet, so we are going to do that one first. So here we go. Leave it to me. All right, guys. Are you excited? We're finally moving on with the story. <laughs> uh, of course, not not that the stuff we've done previously was a waste of time. Just, again, <laughs> we just finally got to it, you know? All right, so here we are. The fire shrine. Let's go on, let's go on in. All right, I forgot there were sliding doors. Let's go. All right, all the ladies, too. <laughs> well, we're here. The higher elements seem to be in effect, too. First, we'll need to make our way to the door farther inside. Roger. Stay vigilant, please. You know, we are in a fire shrine, so I am wondering if we should have brought Elliot with us, considering he has water, well, arts. Hmm. Should I? I was thinking about taking out Instructor Sarah now, but... Nah, you know what? We're good. I think we'll manage. Because we do have Elisa and uh, Emma for healing, so we should be okay in that department at least. Although, I hope... I just wish they had better... Um... Not better, but like just more revival arts, you know? And okay, here's the door. This must be the door Celine mentioned. I know there's several spirit trends in Erebonia, but it'd probably be best to explore them one at a time. Should we dive in? Huh. That's actually really different. Hold on. So... Okay, this is really different. Alright, let's just uh, begin exploring then. I was about to say, this one's actually not open either. Hold on. Well, we made it this far without any problems. I don't think any monsters are going to appear like they did before, either. I think that's the last of seeing someone else's memories, too. Step aside. I'll open it. You will? Whoa. Okay. Shrine of Radiance, crafted by the gnomes. By the hand of the spirits, open your doors and guide us to the Proving Grounds. Well then. Okay, open sesame. Thanks. <laughs> it actually opened. And you knew how to do that all this time? Sure did. I never heard that incantation before, either. I learned it from the Elder a long time ago. I suppose she thought you weren't ready for it. Well, that's not very fair. <laughs> anyway, we can now advance into the Proving Grounds. In their depths is where we'll find the Crystallized Z-Or. You'll find that trial I mentioned before, too. You'll need to be careful. <laughs> I'll embrace any challenge. Woohoo! Time to do some treasure hunting. Keep on your toes, guys. <laughs> of course, she, Elisa has to play the serious one. And, okay. So let's go on in, guys. The Proving Grounds. Now, is it the same layout like the other one? Okay. Oh. Oh. Well, then. That's... That's really different. Holy shit. Okay, what are those X things? And, of course, the music's changed if you take a listen. Yeah, okay, so anyway, 
We're in the fire shrine now, and oh my goodness, there is lava. Okay. Quick, everyone, take off your clothes. No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, it's like the heat isn't too intense. You must take off your clothes. <laughs> Alright, look. Anyway, so this guy's try trying to do his best. Okay. So anyway, let's do our usual thing, guys. Explore this cave. Shouldn't be too hard. We fought these things many times before. Magma drone. Let's go ahead and use a battle scope to save time. Yeah! Probably the only time I'll use, like, you know, the special craft analyze moves will be during boss fights or something. If we can manage. Uh, let's see. Magma Drome, a mollusk which draws in heat as a nutrient, creates orbital energy in its body and uses fire arts. Okay. Pretty much your basic slime enemy. Uh, we against earth, water, wind, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> I can do this. Yeah, so probably using Purgatorial Flame would heal it. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Um, let's actually use... Should I use Cross Crusade? Nah, let's save our EP or AP. Let's just attack normally. Ta-da! Very nice. Art's down. Good. Alright, Laura. Smash it. Nice. Now's our chance. Got you. Okay. Here I go. And don't worry, we will bring in uh Fian and Instructor Sarah later on. Because we've been Boy, using sorry. this team for a while now. Now! I mean at least for the opening. Phantom Beast monsters. No problem. Okay, attack again. All right, now let's use um, some arts with Emma, if you get the chance. Let's move. There we go. This should eliminate it. Good job. Here I go. All right. Actually, we can pretty much just attack him. We'll just wail on him. There we go. Assist. Okay. I'm so sorry. Oh wow. Okay, cool. Let's see what they say together. Nice shooting, Elisa. <laughs> Together we're unbeatable. All right, cool. And heard that uh, victory quote in a while. Or this is the first time I heard the victory quote. Let's go. Okay. And the XP isn't as big, but it's cool. It's probably because we we were leveling up so much uh, that we were pretty much over the level for this area. Maybe. We'll wait and see until we fight the boss. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that guy. You know what? I think we. I remember fighting those guys uh, in the first game too. I don't know if it was back at the old schoolhouse or in the uh, final area of the game. You know, but they look familiar. Actually, they look like the ones we fought in Little Hangar and Castle. Oh, these guys at long range too. Right, turn around. There we go. You know what? I might be right about that. They might. We fought these in Little Hangar and Castle, I think. Ooh, look at this. Here we go. Sepeth. Uh, Soul Geist. All right, we'll attack him first. I can do this. Screw it, we'll scan them in a second. Just start killing them. <laughs> Kill these innocent, innocent monsters. Onward. This should actually unlock the final thing, actually. <laughs> it's my turn. Let's see. Nope, okay. So let's go ahead and use a battle scope. Probably one more hit would actually unlock it, but screw it. Let's see, Soul Geist, a violent spirit created by a grudge taking form, lets out an ominous roar that causes eternal nightmares. Weak against water and the higher elements. All right. Let's move. That just means we gotta kick your ass quickly. <laughs> An opening. Hmm, I'm surprised Rain's not doing as much damage as he usually no does. Problem. All right, let's use Cross Crusade. Let's go. Leave this to me. All right, come on, Laura. Let's move. Attack. Now. Combo. Alright, this is a bit overkill. The power of the cross compels you to die! <laughs> yeah, whoa. <laughs> that takes care of them. Alright, cool. And as you saw, Reen also had Death Blow ready. <laughs> so even if that didn't work, Death Blow would definitely will. Okay, so now. Alright, so, seemingly there must be a puzzle here. Okay, platforming most likely. Hang on, let's check up here. Uh, there's a fire here. What's this? What kind of flame lamp is this? I'm not sure, but it looks conspicuous enough to be important in some way. What's the worst that could happen if we mess with it? Usually, one's better judgment is to not mess with the, you know, flaming lamp, but... Okay, let's touch it. 
All right, to advance, the land will need to be attacked using a field attack of a character with rank B or higher in a certain damage type. Um, all right, so Reen, smack it. Okay, then. And uh, look at that bad guy over there. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, so um, we solved the puzzle. So let's move on. <laughs> I thought we were just going to jump around like Fee, you know, ninja style, but... That one's gonna be a pain. Careful. Yeah, we fought that thing a long time ago, too, in the first game as well. Wow. Kind of a throwback, too. Seriously. Yes, chase us. Oh, you can't, huh? You can't. But you can't. Turn around. Watch out! I can't believe I said that, by the way. You can't because you can't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, Surter. So we fought that thing as well in the first game, towards the end. Let's go ahead and use, uh... Battle scope on this guy. Huh. Looks like a knockoff from Diablo. <laughs> Alright, uh, level 95. A demi human fiend that governs fire. Its sword is made of fire so hot it can boil steel. Okay. Weak against water and higher elements. Alright, we got this. No problem. Alright, critical. Um, she can't use any of her crap, so let's see. Arts. Now we'll just attack normally, I guess. Yeah, let's do it. Fire. There we go. Let's use no, Burst. All right, right. Understood. We haven't used Burst in a while. Let's go. All right, Criticals, yes. Come on. Nice. Of course. All right. Use Phantom Phobia to end it all. Leave this to me. All right, check out the Soul Geist. So, so no interruptions. My turn. Uh, this one is a little bit of higher health. There we go. This should kill both, I hope. And yes, I love using Phantom Phobia now. <laughs> I mean, what's not to like? It, lo it gives a random debuff and it does high damage. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's keep going. Yes, we will. All right. Those guys give a decent amount of XP, so that's good. All right. So now, actually, hold on. Let me take a quick look at uh, some link levels here. So Lisa and Emma. All right, they're close, so we should, I guess we should keep using them. Maybe. I don't know. I did say I wanted to switch out for a Fee and a Sarah at some point. But the arts have been helping us a lot lately, so. Okay, so we had to hit that somehow. So I'm assuming we had to hit another switch around here. So we go up the stairs. Okay. Let's see. We'll take a right. Oh, what? oh yeah. Look, another thing. Another uh, horse-deer hybrid <laughs> trying to ram us. Turn around. There we go. Sorry, buddy. Christmas is already over, so we gotta cut you down for some uh, food. Let's move. What do you call them? Stags? All right. Hino, Hino Mikoto. All right. Hope I not. I hope I pronounced that right. I did take Japanese. <laughs> All right. Level ninety-four. Yep. Hino Mo. Hino Mikoto. All right. A beast with boiling hot blood, defied. By some, charges foes with his burning horns and uses fire arts. Same thing, weak against water. Um, not the higher elements, just normal. Okay. Right. All right, so... And then we got one jelly monster thing. Let's go ahead and use arts. We'll use Cross Crusade again. Activate. Leave this to me. All right, go for it. It's my turn. Got to bring those brave points back up, too. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, first comes the cross. Ta-da! All right, cool. That kills one. Let's move. All right, we'll just let Emma finish it. Now. <laughs> nice. Ah, <sighs> we should be safe now. All right, cool. I do wish if there's one thing I wish uh, Elisa had. Just like with Elliot and uh, Emma, is that the is the quartz that when you just run around on the field, you'll recover EP. I think I might have to craft that at some point uh, with Becky's store, you know? Like trade some uh, items for that specific quartz again. Oh my god, this, I forgot how much uh, they travel in this distance. Alright, here we go. There we go. The advantage is ours. Alright. My turn. Attack. There we go. 
Now's our chance. Let's get those uh, Bray points back up with our links. Right. Attack this one. Fight. All right, good. Now Assist. I'll back you up. Leave this to me. All right, kill it. Very nice. Here I go. How about this? Let's move. Right, focus on one. Now's our chance. An opening. All right, now we got three. You're finished. Oh, good job, Rain. Right. All right, go for it. Now's our chance. I'll back you up. All right, cool. So are we going to get all Leave five back? Let's see. I was about to say, unless Laura kills it right off the bat. Okay, yep. We're not going to get him. Oh, crap. We got killed before Reen loses all his CP. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you saw that, right? On the left corner. Oh, my God. It's like, zero CP. I was like, nope. Finishing off this enemy. <laughs> if not that, then just waste the S crap. Just so it'd be, it wouldn't be pointless. All right. There we go. Random treasure chest. Let's see what it is. Ooh, fire seven times a thousand. Thank you, game. <laughs> it's only one, but it's better than nothing. Uh, speaking of which, I just remembered there's a trial chest around here, right? There's two trial chests. Whoa, and a demon chest. Okay, wow. So they're really gonna, they're really gonna pull off all the stops on us, huh, guys? Shit. Okay. Anyway, so I yeah, fight this other monster and then hit the switch, and then we're all. That one's gonna be a pain. Careful. We're also close to splitting the part too, so after hitting the switch, we'll probably do so. And then, um, yeah. Right, let's see. Turn around. <laughs> Touched you. Okay. A worthy adversary. All right, look at this. Zero arts. Let's move. You know what that means. <laughs> I know, you're probably like, lost arts? I'm like, shit, I forgot. <laughs> But yeah, no, we didn't equip it anyone yet, so I'll have to figure out who would who would be best with which character, you know? All right, anyway, crafts. Let's use Heavenly Slash. Four, three, six, four. Wow. Good job, man. Oh, ho, ho. you try, but you will not survive. Six. Nice. I think if there is one slight drawback to using Valmar is that him and okay, it's safe for now. him and Reen seem to sh share the same CP uh, gauge. I kind of wish it was his own separate thing, but eh, I guess it's I guess it's kind of fair, you know, fair trade. Anyway, so let's go ahead and hit this uh, new uh, excuse me new switch. There we go. I'm not gonna lie, this holy music is kind of unnerving too. By the way. It's not bad, I like it, but it's kind of creepy. It's got its own, it's like, it's cool, but it's also got its own creepy feel to it, but I don't know, it just fits in this area, by the way. Okay, so anyway, so we got one more, and it's probably gonna open up the next bridge, right? So let's do that. There we go. Huh, I wonder if there's something around that corner. All right, hang on, we'll check in a second. All right, yep, more platforms. Let's see. Oh, a ladder. Hang on. Okay. Here we go. Is Fee going to crack a joke about looking up uh, Emma's skirt? <laughs> Just like in the first game. That treasure chest is absolutely beautiful. I think that's actually the first time we heard Emma say something about a treasure chest, too. Or these kind of chests. But anyway, let's open it. Purgatory. <laughs> really? Now we found it. <laughs> Purgatorial flame was found. I feel like an idiot now, wasting uh, one for Elisa. But at least we have two now, so we could probably give it to Emma or someone else later in the game. That's fine. So it's not a total loss. I'm not that disappointed. I'm just, well, kind of, because I did waste, um, not waste, but used up a lot of CP for, or Sepith for the uh, Purgatorial Flame, because it's not cheap, by the way. It's kind of expensive. But it's okay. Again, we have two, so there's no, there's no point in complaining now, considering we've been using it for, a, oh my goodness. Huh. Um, I was not expecting that to be a random enemy. Those were usually the bosses, but wow. Okay. Um, yeah, I think now would actually be a good time to split the part. So hang on. Let's uh, check the map one more time. So 
So that's a normal chest, and then that's still surprising. Two trial chests and then one demon chest all together in one area. That's surprising. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and split the part now. Um, I think I'll switch in Fee and Sarah uh, in a second here too. Go ahead and save. <laughs> Nature Park Depths, that's where we fought the uh, second Phantom Beast. <laughs> At least we're making progress though. This is cool. Really cool. Will we finish this um, in the next part? Who knows? <laughs> Alright guys, so give me one second here and then we will be right back. <laughs> 